Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Sneak and Ladder game in Scratch. First things first, uh, we'll name this game Sneak and Ladders, obviously. Delete the Scratch Cat sprite. Click on the plus next to the Scratch tab and then search for snake and ladder board go to image section and choose the desired image you want click on that image and right click on that and then click on the say save image as option and then you can save it close that tab since it's useless now and then click on upload sprite and then click on the image you want and then press open it will come name the image board b-o-a-r-d board and position it in the x of negative 44 and y of 0 Get a when green flag click block. Go to controls and get a forever block. Go to motion and get a go to xy block. Make sure it is in negative 44 and y0. Create a new sprite. And name the sprite player one. After you're done with that, zoom in and then go to draw circle option and then change the color to dark blue. And then hold shift while you're drawing the circle because it will give you a perfect circle shape. And if you want to adjust it, you can adjust the shape of the circle. Go to text option and then type number one and then change the text color to white. And then position it. And then go to code. And then get a win green flag clicked. And then get a get to XY block. Don't change the values now since we'll be changing it later in the video. Get a forever loop. Get a an if then block. And then get a key pressed boolean block, and then change the press I meant space to a key. And then in the if then block, get a go to mouse pointer block. And then go to looks and get a show block and put it right after the. 
go to XY block. And also, duplicate the player 1 sprite, and it will automatically be named player 2. And, uh, we'll have to change the costume of the player 2 sprite, since, you know, uh, it looks like player 1 sprite, so we'll just change it. Click on that circle over there and then change it to dark red. Click on the select option and then delete that text. Go to text and then type in number two. It Since it's already white, we don't have to make any adjustments. Position it in the circle over there. Position player one to where I'm positioning it And also position player two to where I'm positioning it And go to code for player two and then set the X to 186 And then set the Y to negative uh, 154. Go to player 1. Set the X to 147. Set the Y to negative uh, 153. And as you'll see, they'll be positioned right where you put the coordinates. And then change the key A pressed to key B pressed for player 2. And create another sprite, and we'll name the sprite Dice. Without any dice, there's no snake and ladder game. Zoom in. And then uh, adjust your uh, area of uh, drawing. And then you can uh, go to the create square option and then change the fill color to gray and then set the outline to five. And also when you're drawing the square, uh, press, press shift like you did for the circles, player one and player two. And you can also adjust the size of it if you want. And we gotta create six costume for the dice sprite. And this will be the first one. And also name this costume one. But before you name the costume, just to zoom in. And then go to draw circle option. And then draw a circle that looks very much like a dot. And then with the dot selected, go to the select option and copy the dot. And then now change the costume to one. And duplicate that costume it will automatically be named to click paste 
and then position your dots. Duplicate that and click paste. It will automatically be placed and then and then click paste again. Duplicate it. This time uh, when you paste it, it will be automatically pla placed wherever it has to be. And then this will be the last costume. And position the dots. And you see, every costume in this part is automatically named from costumes 1 to 6. Go to Events. And then don't drag a when green flag clicked. Just drag a when this part clicked. And go to Motion. And it looks and then get a switch costume to block and then go to operators and then get a pick random. Pick random 1 to 6. So we have finished coding this game. Let's check uh, the sprites coding again before we start the game. So I'll show you how this game works now. Player, we should tap on the dice to roll it. Player one moves first. Position the mouse wherever you want. Press on A. Since he got a two, he'll be going there. Player two got five. So he has to go to five and press B. So that's how the game goes. And this is a really fun game to play and a very basic game. I hope you enjoyed this video and bye guys.